three, two, whoa, 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 whoa. We, gotta, we gotta introduce, you can't just hop in. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa, and I'm the Made Vegan, because I'm Viet and I'm vegan, and today we're trying out the Linda McCartney's Deliciously Comforting vegetarian pot pies, or country pies, that are suitable for vegans, so don't worry, they're vegan. And he's very excited. These are typically not available in Canada. They're from the UK, but we have a store here called Coven in Hamilton that specially imports them, so I was like, I'ma try them. And you guys may have seen this in the grocery haul. If you haven't watched that grocery haul yet, I'll link it in the corner. Let's, let's taste test. Whoa! What? So aggressive. We haven't had dinner yet, so he's very hungry. Yeah. Get a hole, let some of that steam come out. It's very flaky. I've never had like a country pie. It looks like dark gravy, it's not like a chicken pot pie. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, like we would have these pies as, when I was younger and what my mom would do is she would like flip it over like that and put it on the plate for us. That's a really good idea. What? The flipping it over. Yeah, but it's also like backwards because then it's not like a pie. It's just a mess, okay? How do you eat this? The ones that I've had in my meat eating days were generally fuller than this. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have already! <gasps> Wait, I lost my piece inside. Clink. I don't even know what to think. I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> I like the pastry. Uh, the pastry's okay. The top, honestly, the top pastry might be a little bit more flaky, but like, it almost feels like hard as I bite through it. This makes me want lava cake. So there's like a, a TVP mince on the inside. It's very like soupy, but like gravy y. There's not a lot inside though. Like the ones I'm used to are like shorter. And they probably have the same amount of stuff in it, but like it's fuller that way. It's not as hollow. I remember it not being as quite as hollow. But I've never had like this kind of pie. Yeah. I feel like, like pot pie. I've had this kind. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. They were called meat pies in my day. Like honest, I would prefer like a more of a, like a chicken gravy kind of flavor than this is kind of like a beef gravy kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Like it's a okay. lighter flavor. I like chicken gravy better. Like that style. Obviously not real chicken. I don't know. It's pretty good. It's hot. It's tasty. I don't see it very filling, but it's like comfort food. It's definitely like something I would eat as like a portion of our dinner, not like what we're doing right now is our entire dinner. Yeah. Well, this is a taste test of this, not a taste test of this and a salad. That's true. We are gonna have salad after. <laughs> it baked up really well. Like it's nice and golden on the bottom. It's crispy. The pastry is good. What was that? I honestly have no idea. I think my plate just cracked. That's weird. Nope. I like it. The box was 10 bucks for the two, so five bucks per it's pie. five a pie. Five buckaroos per pie. Honestly, I would probably eat this again if it was fed to me, but I think I could make a better one. We have that no bowl mince. I kind of want to make a better pot pie with that stuff inside. Isn't it by the same manufacturer? Wouldn't it like be the same? Nope. You sure? It's Actually, a completely I'm more, different I'm brand. I'm sure that it's different as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a completely different brand. Yeah, the top of the pie is a lot more flaky. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. It does make sense. I'm just saying. Jeez. You're so sassy to me today. How would you rate this out of 10? I feel like it should be a seven. I probably had high expectations for this because I miss those meat pies. I mean, the flavor is right for whatever brand. Like I'm used to no name meat pies and they were, they were delicious. Yeah, but like, is it like this kind of flavor profile? Like is the flavor profile right? It's just like the filling and the ratio of the stuff to filling is not to your standard. I've never had this kind of pie. Maybe. I'm also used to there being like more like peas and carrots and stuff in it. And there's some stuff in here, but it's mostly the- It's just mint. The mints and the, uh, the gravy stuff. Mm -hmm. Get a couple veggie in there. Yeah. Even if it's like the frozen bag of peas and carrots, like little cube things. I love that. I'm totally gonna do that. <laughs> that makes me think of my beef stew. That's really good. If you want the recipe for that, I'll leave that down below. It's like a real good recipe. Honestly, I'd probably do something like that in the middle. And then just make it into a pie. Yeah. I probably rated a 7.5. I like it a lot. It's savory. It tastes good. I like the flakiness. I think it could be improved with like the ratio of stuff on the inside and like the thickness and how things hold up, but. Yeah, it's grown on me a little bit, but. It's good, definitely tasty. When I started eating it, I, 
I was thinking, I don't know if I would eat this again. I would. But I would. <laughs> now I would. Before I was like, mm. I can definitely make a better one. And then I was worried because we have two more in the freezer. I'm like, I don't want to eat those, but now I do. So. The thing is, it takes 40 minutes to bake in the oven. That's not uncommon for these. Well, yeah, I guess so. It's just like, it's it, a lot for a small amount. But it is good. Gives you time to make a salad. <laughs> or just watch YouTube like what we did. Watch YouTube and eat, uh, eat some nachos. Yep. That was not nachos, that is Sorry, right. chips it was and salsa. Chips and salsa. <laughs> so mad. Should have been nachos. I don't have any cheese. I just have- Or sour cream. I didn't know you wanted nachos. I could have bought some for nachos. I'm literally just saying it right now because I'm thinking about nachos. <laughs> we can make nachos tomorrow. What about today? That requires us leaving the house again. Yeah, that's not happening. I like staying at home. I know. 7.5 to- Hey! It's mine! <laughs> What your hair is like almost on the plate. Well, it would have been fine if you didn't try to steal my food. It's worth every second. You should be panicking on camera. Yeah, I give it a 7.5. I like it, would eat again. Kind of expensive, but tasty. Could be improved. Good, but not perfect. Correct. Look forward to a version of this in the future where I improve it. So that pretty much concludes this taste test. I hope you guys liked it. It's a quick one. Um, if you guys want to watch our last taste test, which was ice cream. It was ice cream. Uh, yeah, I've been eating it, but there's still enough left for you. More taste tests in the corner, because I do taste tests with Eddie almost all the time. If you like the video, give it a like, comment down below. Have you tried these? How, how did you like them? Did you... Did you agree with the our, our criticisms of it? That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye. <laughs> now hop in that pot. All right. Pie. Now I think of Popeye in the Game of Thrones thing. <laughs> Gross. <laughs>